Hello everyone, I'm Dex here, welcome to episode number 8 of the Season 2 Let's Play. Uh, between the previous episode and now, I've been mining quite a lot, and I've come to a conclusion. The next step that I really want to get to is get the quarry going. Um, to be honest, I didn't think this through, this might not be the best way to go to. But I really want to get to some sort of passive resource management, even though, even though there is still no... Um, processing uh, unit like sorting and stuff and everything I still I, I just want to get to a point where I have a passive source of, uh, of 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 resources all the time so because I didn't I wasn't very lucky with diamonds I decided to go for a different route altogether what I'm going to do is use a common exchange and I'm gonna go for um, the minimum minimum stone now minimum stone is created with Eight minimum shards, and I've actually went back to my uh, zombie spawner and farmed a little bit, so I've got ten. Just need eight, and uh, an inert stone, which is created like this. So let's do this. We need four smooth stone, a gold ingot, and four iron ingots. Gold ingot, and four of those, and with the minimum shard or minimum stone I will be able to hopefully uh, do some uh, crafting grid transmutations so let's see let's see for a quarry I will I will require um, eight diamonds actually 11 diamonds and I have two so I need nine more diamonds and I, I tr I'm gonna try to save on materials because um, the minimum shard will take damage. So let's see. Let's start converting. Let's get the gold from my Thumbcraft room. I wanna try to minimize the amount of conversion and I'd rather not convert back and forth and back and forth. So I'm gonna go for the minimum amount. Oh, I don't have anything here. I'm gonna go for the minimum amount of damage that I need at the moment. And hopefully the quarry eventually will get me what I need. And by the way, I do know that I don't have any proper source of power man or power generation yet. But this is where that giant oil fountain comes to place. I hope so. I hope that I'm going to build uh, in the combustion engine. Which isn't too bad, to be honest. And eventually, yeah, I won't be able to refine stuff. Because it will require an additional diamond gear. Um, to, to refine the oil into fuel, but bef but I can still just use the oil as it is, it's useful enough. So let's finally do it. Let's see, um, can I get, yeah I can get uh, 9 diamonds right off the bat. So there is my uh, 2 gears and a pick. And I'm going to need some more gold again. So let's see. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to need basically four cogs because each diamond gear also requires a cog. So that's four times four, that's 16. And that's exactly what I have here. Uh, yeah, let's go for 16. As you can see, it's taking damage. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm not exactly sure what's the amount of damage it can take. Yeah, let's convert a little bit more gold. Just so I have some spare. Alright. Yeah, every conversion seems to take exactly one durability of damage. Uh, but I don't know what's the maximum, so... Yeah. Alright, so let's build the, co let's build the quarry. Uh, so... I'm going to start with seven iron gears. So we need some stone. And some wood. So seven gears. Each one of those is a gear, so seven. And convert all of them into stone. All of those into iron. Alright, so three I'm gonna keep. Well, actually four. No, three. I'm gonna keep. Four I'm gonna turn into gold. And two I'm gonna keep, and two I'm gonna turn into diamond. 
awesome got these uh, those three turn into diamond pickaxe and just a piece of redstone oops so redstone diamond gold this and a pick awesome quarry now for a marker you know what actually i think to begin with i'm gonna go for the default size and i'm definitely gonna go mining in the ocean this is how i like to do it because the world holes that it's living are already full of water anyway so there is no worry about uh, dangerous or something i'm gonna go for uh, the default 10 by 10 by, def by, uh, by default anyway because the larger the size supposedly is better because you can fire and forget it for a longer time but it will take a lot more time to actually get to the precious materials so it's uh, basically a double-sided double-edged uh, sword so I got myself a quarry uh, let's get I think can I create a copper chest no I don't have let's go for an iron chest or maybe maybe a silver chest what's completely useless well nothing really but at the moment I'm gonna get start getting proper resources everything is expandable let's just go with the default chest first I got even two so I'm going for two and before I can place them and actually do anything with them I'm gonna need uh, a pump to pump the oil so when the mining well so an iron pick an iron gear and all this iron good thing I was supposedly lucky with all the iron because as you can see it becomes useful so how many gears uh, just one so one of those and turn it into iron and an iron pick right yep and a piece of redstone again iron pick oops Right, and for the pump, we need the liquid tank, which is just this. All right, so I got my pump, and to operate the pump, I'm gonna use four redstone engines, just the way I like it. So we need four pistons. I believe I do have everything I need on me. Um, should. One, two, three, four pistons, and actually I can go for five. Oh, hold on, it. I'm gonna do with four. So four pistons and four wooden gears. Actually, for rest of the engine, it need eight because I want to build four engines. There we go and some redstone torches and to transfer all of it i'm gonna require some pipes now i did have some cacti only just two though yeah hmm. so let's get in some more tanks Tank should be enough. Uh, I want to get some more cacti. There should, yeah, there should be some here very close by. No problem there. However, I don't know um, if it's enough. Gonna need a lot of piping from over here to the ocean. 
Yeah, it's gonna recall a little bit more than that. All right, so I'm gonna go collect some more cacti. Be right back. Okay, so I found like 42 blocks of cacti and it definitely won't be enough. So instead of burning it and finding out it's not enough, I decided I'm gonna just plant all of them. And I think I'm gonna go and do a little bit more of Thumbcraft research while I wait for those, yeah. That's pretty much what I really wanna do. And I really wanna try... Um, getting more diamonds would be ideal, but I don't have any more resources. I mean, I could maybe turn, I think one stack of iron is exactly equivalent to one diamond, I'm pretty sure. Because 64 divided by eight is eight. Oh no, actually a stack of iron is two diamonds. Yeah, but I need iron, so I, I can't really afford doing something like this. Instead, let's go a little bit more researching. Let's take stuff that I can really sacrifice a lot of. I got a lot of Nicolite. And let's try... Oh, I can try rubber. Doesn't make much sense, but yeah, maybe. Lapis, no. Um, Gunpowder. I'd rather keep it. can use those nuggets. They're not very useful in their current form. Maybe the tin ones, the golden ones, I can keep those. Uh, what else do I have a lot of? Aluminum doesn't have a use. Alright, let's see what else can I use. Well, let's just start researching, see what we get. Alright, so Nicolite. Alright, we got something that uses uh, Potentia and no Mekana. All right. Does it use metalum? Nope. Does it use these two? Nope. Uh, rotten flesh, maybe. Nope. Uh, glass, maybe. Nope. Nope. Okay, so let's try using give. I mean, what's this? Uh, probably not. Let's try. It's probably something uh, with magic, I have a feeling. Nope. Okay. Can I use the presence? No. Nope. Um, maybe Quicksilver? No. Uh, let's try Amber and a book. I should start taking care of the, those cows because I'm running out of books here. Let's not try with a book. So, piece of Amber, no. Maybe torch. Yep. Alright. And something with fire. And fire is coal, pretty much. Do I have any here? No, let's get some from upstairs. How long does it take for a cacti farm to grow? Uh, I think it's gonna take a while. And maybe in the meantime we should get uh, the real craft feeder for, for the cows. What does it require? Golden carrots. I do have carrots, surprisingly. I'm quite low on gold, but I can manage. Steel plate. Oh, I'm gonna need a rolling machine. What's this require? Ah, oh, not too bad. And what do I need for this? Stealing it in the blast furnace. Blast furnace brick. Okay. Any other way to get it? Uh, no other way to get stealing it? Just blast furnace? Any way to get the block of steel? No. So I need the magma cream and magma cream. Oh, actually I do have some. I can make some magma cream. I found some slimes earlier. Well, anyway, let's get the things, the research done already. I know you guys are pissed at me for getting sidetracked all the time. Alright. And we're done. Night ore. 
Doesn't it require glowstone? Oh, I guess fire and lux are supposedly the glowstone. Let's see. Uh, what's the recipe? Oh, I finished. I got basic alchemy. Alright, so for night ore... Oh, because, because of the new system, I don't actually require glowstone for it. I assume glowstone will include lux and ignis. And maybe Potentia. But I don't have to get specifically Glowstone. I can get the Lux from and Ignis from other sources. This is very nice. I really like the new system. Alright, so what's basic alchemy? You have studied the creation of simple musical ups and like that. You feel you have mastered enough alchemical art to try your hand at more advanced concoctions. Well, eventually I'm still having to research the same thing, so doesn't actually make sense. Okay. Let's try. Okay, got something. Got Ignis done. Let's cancel out those two, just to make sure. Although I assume, yeah, I, I probably I might not need Potentia and Machina anymore at all. Although it seems very extreme. Alright, I don't need this. Maybe glass. Nope. What could I possibly learn? This maybe? Or this? Let's try something with metal. Nope. Uh, try this. Let's try stone. Nope. String. Why do I have string? I guess not anyway. Wood. Nope. Um, let's try the shard. I'm running out of shards. Nope. Oh, uh, fire shard. Tried all of those. Let's try quicksilver. No. I cooked pork chop. Okay, got something. Something with food. I think I can get it from here as well. And... Uh, let's keep this one, I can spare it. the food. Alright, it's done. Magic tallow. Alright, what's this? By processing and heating flesh in a crucible, you believe you can create a mystical tallow suited for many arcane uses. What? Sounds creepy. Why would I need a burnt flesh? Tello. Oh, it doesn't even appear in any eye. So I can't actually check what recipes. What? Okay, so I can create candles with it. Awesome. Let's try something new. Okay, I got something new. Something with stone, so let's spend stone on it. Okay. Magical building blocks. Yeah, I wanted that. So I assume it might need... Yeah, it's gonna need metal. And I'm done. Okay, what else do I need? Maybe something related to magic. I'm really running out of shards here. Yep. Whoa! Okay, let's try glass. Nope. Did I try fire? Yeah, I did. Maybe dirt? Actually, it's an option because it's something related to building stuff. So maybe dirt and wood? Let's get a block of dirt and some more wood. Quicksand doesn't have anything. Marble, no. Sand, sand and dirt are pretty much the same, right? Yeah, and gravel, I guess, the same as well. Uh, slightly different. Sen essentially the same. I can also try sugar canes. Let's see. Uh, sugar canes, no. Dirt, nope. 
I ran out of stuff. I should. <laughs> I thought what I brought was enough. Oh, okay. So I need wood and I need fabrico. Create, construct, work, maybe crafting table? Oh, I can test it as long as I don't have it. Yep. Let's get a bunch. Okay, I'm, going to, I'm indeed going to need a bunch. Let's get some. And I got it. Magical building blocks. Alright, so I'm gonna require thomium and stone in Arcane Work Table. You find a way to merge strength of stone with the resiliency of thomium. The result is a block quite resistant to daily wear and tear. More importantly, these arcane stones blocks are perfectly suited for creation of magical constructs and structures, including beacon bases. Altis of Thumb forms a core block, Calamities it could transform. You have also discovered technique of engraving and enchanting wood, allowing it to be used for similar purposes. Okay, so I can create RK wood blocks. Passing four arcane stones blocks together as shown on the right. You infuse them with V's and your magical you want, and the stone will be merged together into an infusion altar. But, okay, so it can craft the same as a workbench and an arcane table and a new stuff. So I guess I'm gonna need it. I, I'm gonna want it to progress anyway. Okay, so so it's it's need it needs to be placed, I guess, near uh, crucible because it might require like when I'm burning aspects in it, it may be able to be used by the crucible thingy. That's if I understand it right. All right, let's see what's the recipe. Four thumium and okay, stone is a joke. I have one thumb already. I need eight metal and four magic stuff. Precantio. This is two, 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 six. All right, so exactly three of those <coughs> are. Okay, well, I wanna. Let's try to be conservative here. If I already have one of those. Let's avoid creating more than what I need. I need some sort of source for uh, the metal stuff. So tin is six, copper is six. Yeah, silver I have a lot of and I don't mind uh, spending it. Let's see. Um, so again, for this I'm gonna need eight metal and four magic. So three of those will give me, actually just two of them will give me 12 magic, which is enough for, for three. And in terms of the magic aspect, and I'm gonna need 24 metal. 24 metal ohm will be four of those. One, two, three, four. All right, let's give it a go. So, whoops. One, two, three, four. One, two. And my, where's my wand? <coughs> Great, four thumbium. So on a working bench, just place them like so, and like this. And we'll take some V's out of the wand, which will regenerate. 
I got myself four of those, so okay, what formation do they create at special crafting table? Right four and cast on it. So let's create it uh, I think in the corner looks fine. Well, let's have some room from the corner. And right click. Awesome. Alright myself. Right, so it's pretty much, I guess it's exactly the same, just uh, more advanced. Okay, did any new research path has opened or something? Still, I still don't have this. And I have no clue what's, what's this. Can I research this? Well, it doesn't have any new factors that I don't already have. So back to square one, researching stuff that try researching this okay it's annoying because until you don't get to a point where you are researching something already it doesn't gray out anything because it it doesn't cancel out of anything because there is no research being made so it's a little bit special if you don't mind me saying I think I'm gonna need uh, I don't know, looking at this icon, it looks something like a piece, a piece of cloth or something. So I have a feeling I could be using uh, some wool. So let me go ahead and shear um, the sheep that I've been growing. Or raising, to be more exact. Let's see. I really want to move them away from here. Don't like that small pen. Right, so. Ooh, nice sounds. Okay, let's go inside. Snip, snip. Right, so I got seven. Which are. Each one of them has that one. I don't know what's the wolf symbol. But seven of this uh, toilet paper symbol. So let's see, maybe that's exactly what I need. Hopefully, that's exactly what I need. How are my cacti doing? Oh, some of them are growing. Great. So I want to finish that supposedly first tier of research. Hopefully, the wool is what I need. Yeah. The toilet penis, cloth, fabric, garment, whatever. Toilet paper. Alright, so I'm out of this. Do you need stone? No. I assume I'm going to need some magic. I don't want to use those. Let's try with the water one. Yeah, I'm going to need magic and I'm going to need the crafting tables again. Yeah, more magic. Oh, actually, I just maxed out magic, so I just need a fabrico. So, let me get some more crafting tables from here. Uh, good thing I have all this wood here. Not bad at all. Let's get a bunch. And I got myself enchanted fabric, yeah. Let's see what it gives me. Uh, by combining spider silk and wool and infusing it with raw vis, you have created silk length. Uh, I'm not quite sure what <laughs> those are used, uses yet, but you are sure it will you think of something. Let's create one. Do I have... Uh, I don't know if I have enough spider web. All right, wool card. What's the recipe? Oh, I don't have fine iron wire. I have one string. Uh, okay, so what else opened? Basic artisifying. You have tinkered with the combination of various materials and mystical substances enough to have gained a basic grasp of how things fit together. 
It has been days since you last blew something up by accident and you feel confident enough to start experimenting with something bigger, better things. Okay, no clue what this is. But it did say something about explosions, so I have a feeling uh, Gunpowder may have a role now, and probably coal. Let's see. I just noticed that the length of this episode has been quite long, but I just wanna try to see... yeah. Wanna just try to finish this one last theory before uh, concluding this episode. Let's see if I can get it done. Uh, gunpowder. Fractus. Or maybe I can use this one for Fractus. No. Uh, dirt maybe? Yep. Nice. Unified thomic field theory. Okay. <laughs> okay, water. Only 42% complete? Okay. Called, being called unified thomic field theory and noticing that it used earth, fire, and water, I assume I'm gonna need uh, like uh, air and what other, um, probably, and probably magic or something. Feathers should have air, yeah. Like all the basic elements or something. Yep. Whoa! This is crazy. Okay, so I tried water, and it doesn't have water. Okay. Maybe food and you know, tried fire and it does have fire. Amber. Oh, glass maybe. No. I didn't try. Uh, let's try the crafting tables for wood and fabrico. No. Metal probably. No. Hmm. Well, it must contain magic, I'm pretty sure of that. The problem is that I'm really running low. Okay, let's try all the air shards. Yeah, it has to contain magic, but the problem is that I'm really low on magic. Okay, got magic done. What are the other two? Redstone? No, I tried whatever it can do. Ooh, maybe golden stuff, like valuable stuff. Actually, I wonder what diamonds have, what aspect does the diamonds have? All right, let's try and get uh, some gold. And I've tried, oh, actually, oh, red power gems have the same value as gold, or not, but let's use those. Why waste gold? Gold is a lot more valuable. Um, Flint has a new thing that I've never seen before. Um, uh, what else? I got this spare shovel here. Blaze powder has magic? Okay. Well, I, I have all those zombie brains, but I guess they'll be for something a little, more, a little bit more advanced in the future, so I'm gonna keep them. I'd rather keep the leather. Let's try this. Okay, running out of space. Let's see from what I have. If it's enough. And I actually didn't try torches. Maybe it has light. No. Right, so... Emerald, no. Flint, no. Shovel, no. Bone meal, no, it doesn't have anything new. Okay, so yeah. I love the name. The Unified Thomic Field Theory. Papers. What do papers add? Cognito. Yeah. And Mutatio. Whatever that is. Alright, let's get almost. What's Mutatio? Flux and Chaos. What's chaos? Ooh, maybe... 
Maybe the Nitor, the Aluminium. Okay. I I really I can't stop. I have to stop myself now. Sorry for uh, for keeping you guys uh, in intense for the next episode, but I really have to stop because uh, I can't go for all this like forever. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.